G'day everyone, welcome back to my bonsai channel and looking to do some work today on some black pine um, candle selection or bud selection that we do in autumn. Um, I have a beautiful here black pine that I'll be doing today. I'll try and um, show you what I do. I'm not an expert, please note I'm not an expert. I'm only doing bonsai as, as a hobby for the last 20 years or so. I haven't been trained overseas or anything, but this is just what I do with my pines. I pretty much take everyone's advice on board, the overseas people, people like Bjorn and listen, you know, watching Ryan's um, videos as well from overseas, you pick up lots of pieces and all, obviously experts in Australia too um, help. So this is the black pine I'll be working on. You can see it's quite a decent size at the moment with me alongside it. You can see how quite big it is. Quite a big tree. Um, I'm hoping to do some work on that and decandle that. Um, today, or not the candle, sorry, <laughs> keep keep getting confused, but but select. So you'll see how there'll be three or four or five even new candles or buds from the same spot, and I'll try and show you that, um, and then how you go about selecting it, and also also taking off um, needles as well, just to balance all the areas of the tree. This is quite a, a pretty tree. Um, I've been, you've, you've probably seen a video of this previously, like of the tree before and after when I got it, it was just overgrown. I've got photos and another video on my channel. Have a look um, of this tree. Now it's at a stage where we are refining and getting some buds um, picking out, you know, trying to get multiple buds forming each year, you know, two by two by two, as they keep saying. So this is just following the process of black pines. Um, this is the order maintenance that we do of bud selecting. The, the pines and I'll show you that up close in a minute. Okay so I'm coming close up to this area here. Now in in um, in the summer or middle of summer sorry I took out I took out in the middle there you can see the cut bit that bit there that was the candle I cut that bit there off and now I've got one uh, one two and a third one, third one here, it's a great bit tricky, and a small one just here. So you got one, two, three, all from the same spot. We can't have three, we always have to have two. So most likely I will look at trying, if I'm going to wire this down, for example, I will look for the two lateral buds. So these two on top here, about the same size. About the same everything so I'll probably keep them and take off the smaller one down here okay hope that makes a bit of sense so I'll take that guy off so I'll show you what I'm gonna do just give me a sec so I'll come back here so you'll see we've got this good guy I want to keep I want to keep this guy here I keep this guy and this guy because when we wire it, keep it what probably fly back into shape a little bit. You'll see that forms a nice two, two, two um, nice lateral buds. Now next year, what the plan is, you should get a new can. So you can see in there. Ooh, let me see. It's a bit hard to see that. There's a little bud candle there. That's for spring. That's what will come out and expand all the way. We'll just shoot out in spring. And then we come in and cut those off in summer and then you get the next two then you do the same thing so that will sh that will shoot out that will shoot out in spring and summer then we come back cut it back again and then we'll get multiple buds at that point again just like we've had today so there's your new two that we're starting for from so then ne the next year we'll get another two coming from this point Coming from this point, we get another two. It's follow the same process, another two. So that's the two by two by two by two, and you build your ramification around that. So I'll just come in now and pretty much just let me get my pretty much take off. Take off. I missed it. Take off that little bud there, and it's gone. So now you're left with so that's the basics of trying to do 
bud selection, etc. on in autumn. Take off back to two. So these are two. Now I have a lot of um I have a bud at the back down here, which I'll keep uh, for now because it could develop. So things like that you'll keep. But I want to thin out some of the area just to balance balance the amount of candle. I mean balance the amount of needles there is. So these guys, these guys are needles, and in here they're the candles for next year. So that that's what forms these little guys here. Okay. So it's pretty much a process of going throughout the whole tree. I pretty much work from I work from the top. Oops. From the top. And I work my way down to the bottom. Now you can probably see the bottom is always weaker than the top. That's just for now it's still trying to get the balance right in this tree with, with how much um, needles and candles etc on it but um, you'll see you'll see once you start balancing it up you'll get an even growth everywhere but we're still working towards that um, this tree is looking really really good the base is quite substantial and that's decent size scissors there and you can see the base now I'm hoping I'll have this tree at our club exhibition in July, end of July, in Melbourne here. That's, I'll get the dates and poster up so you can see in a minute. But if you're in Melbourne, come down and have a look while I continue this process of candle bud selection. So I'm pretty much just gonna work my way through the tree. And I'll always um, pull off some of the old needles as well. So in this in this area here I've again got two got multiple buds. And I'll show you that again. Just so you can see. See there's so many little buds in there, I just gotta select down to two. Always just think select down to two lateral, they're kind of evenly even strength. That's pretty much what I do. but just think um, always leaving two laterals you can always wire branches how you like so this will probably be wired that way you can either cut the old candles off or pull them off with your fingers I mean cut the old needles off or pull them with your fingers You can see some uneven, uneven growth. You can see some here, they're quite long, because I left that as a small bud. It was only a small bud. Maybe I should have taken it out in um, summer, but I left it just to try and strengthen some areas. So that, that's got a nice big candle on it at the moment. So it's got a nice, nice big candle there. Where is he? There he is. Uh, that, that'll be elongate next year, or, I mean sorry, in, in, in summer, and then we'll treat it the same way we do pines in summer again, and cut them all off. So this is a very finicky process. I'm pulling, trying to even the strength, pulling, pulling old needles off, and working my way through the tree. I'm trying to have the same amount of pairs, pairs of needles. I'm trying to have the same amount on each on each area. So that should be the same as that, should be the same as that. Just to balance out the tree. So this area, this little area is done here for now. Um, so I think I've balanced that out quite quite nicely. Even though it's got some long ones, you know, next year they'll they will come out and um, yeah, we should follow this process and we should get nice small ones like this down here. So 
So pines are a, a, a long process, um, but a very rewarding once you get going and once you get the flow and once you get the decandling and, and bud selection right. But they're quite rewarding. This is just a tedious process of going through the whole tree, doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I don't necessarily cut the, the needles if they're too long. I, I just take care of that in the next year um, and it should fix itself. However, sometimes if this was going on a show, I might chop it just before just before the show so it looks all the same size, but that's about it. It's just for aesthetic purposes, but don't necessarily do that if you don't need to. Um, so instead of having a time lapse, I will come back if I find anything in the tree that's interesting I'll come back and tell you and show you some interesting bits um, but otherwise yeah I'll just continue on this tree and we'll come back to it so I'll, I'll make my way up to the top of the tree and you can see this area here there's lots of new new buds everywhere and new developed candles everywhere however there's a problem here so if you look at it this way, you can see there's a little one there, a little one there, and in the middle there's a big guy, big guy that's just shot up. I might have missed taking that candle off or something. I left maybe too many on there, so I reckon I'm going to take, so I'm going to take that mm, that middle one out and leave the two side ones. That's a good example. And then above that, you can see the next one, next shot shoot. So that'll be if I wire this down. I can wire and spread that out. So I just take this little top guy out. So I'm going to have either two, one, two. I'll show you the result in a minute. So after trimming, you can see there's two now. So the top's taken out. And two there. So then when we wire them, it's hard doing this with one hand, but you know, you'd wire it out. And you've got. So they've, they've forked there two times and then two again. So two, so you can see once that way and once that way and then they've done another two here and two here. So that just needs some wire. And start to form your pads two by two and then they'll just keep going. So two, four, eight, obviously 16 and off it goes. Right, so here's another area at the top where it's got multiple one, Already cut the, there was one at the bottom. One, two, three, four. So if I think about this and wire, I'm going to wire it down. I'm going to choose these two lateral buds or candles or shoots to keep. And I'll cut the other two out. Cut those two out. I'll probably wire it down. Okay. So I'm up to the last branch here, this area here. And I've pretty much done the rest of the tree. Now I just want to see if I can get close enough so you guys can see how I go about um, doing this. So I'll look for an area to start working in. I always have my, my, my scissors in one hand and here I can see this one, two, one, two, three buds. So I'm gonna have to just choose two. Probably this one at the top, so I'll take that out. That's two there gone. I look for some needles to reduce and pluck down. These are more needles on the, underneath, so I usually try and pluck the needles underneath. Um, and some on top. And then try and even it out. Like people say there's different amount of pairs you need to have. I can't, well, I'm not sure exactly how many. Uh, there are maybe eight, I think eight to 10 or something they say. Which is fine, just do it like, arrange that to have that many but um, I'm usually just 
try and make sure the trees all kind of balanced and have the same amount of um, needles everywhere as much as you can. Um, I try and be a little bit, tiny bit more on the lower branches in terms of needles, only because I want more strength in the lower branches because they seem to always be the weakest ones. Um, so sometimes I leave a bit more, a few more needle pairs um, in the lower sections. I don't know if that works, but I find it does, helps a little bit, but other people will say different things, but um, I just like to be cautious sometimes. Um, so yeah, just trying to protect the lower branches as much as you can, give them a chance. There's a whole clump of um, shoots here, so don't like that bottom one, take that off. Yeah, I've got two lateral ones. This bottom one, nice and neat. A few more, probably have to pluck a few more of these needles. Yeah. So I just work, so I've done all the top now but the bottom, so it's probably the reason why I start at the top. What I do is that all the needles keep falling and fall onto your lower branches, so it's easy to clean up. If you, um, if you start at the bottom and work your way to the top, you're going to have to come back and Make sure I clean all the all the dead needles, all the plucked needles off the lower the lower branches that you just peat plucked. So kind of saves you doing going back and doing the round two. Now I would love to rewire, well, apply extra wire. I know I need a bit more wire on this tree, but um, I don't have the time to do it that today. Mainly because I want to get stuck into a few of my other pines, and this is the, one of the big boys that I've got to get through. So I want to be able to needle pluck most of my. Um, trees today uh, so yeah it would it does need a bit of a rewiring certain areas this is probably getting I'll, I'll show you later but there's different areas that need to be pulled down a little bit things have just sprung back up a little so yeah just the same process all over the tree pretty pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it and it's practice like practice on some you know some trees that you have or you know don't be don't be scared kind of go to one to your local bonsai club come to our club <laughs> bonsai northwest in melbourne if you're around um, we're all there we um we do love our pines there and we have a lot of expertise there'll be soon a video coming up from the club i've like done last month with um with Matt Ball around Pines as well, so it's a good video. We're still editing that um, to get it up on, on our channel. It um, should be good. Uh, Matt Ball practiced in Japan. And he had lots to share with us about techniques and so on. Pretty much the same that I'm going through. Um, We'll see, needle pluck, needle pluck. I'm trying to also adjust branches if I can, if there's wire on them, as I go through the tree. So my last little section here, and then I'll show you the full picture. So that's pretty much the completed tree after bud selection and needle plucking in autumn so you can see the trees a lot lot thinner looks more cleaner but um, I'd love to give it some wire right now but I just need to get through some other pines I won't be able to get to this and, and wire it up but it's a good chance to wire the tree um, this is what's pretty much the candle needles on the floor and a few candles you can see pretty much this tree became more of a needle plucking rather than butt selection exercise today but um there were lots of buds three three four five in one spot so it had to be done the work had to be done but this is coming along really well this tree yeah, it looks really nice now so i hope you um enjoyed that i like to do videos around tips and you know techniques as much as I can even though it's just all self-taught and learned from you know 
visiting visiting internationals or other Australian experienced people. But yeah, rather than doing a before and after restyle, I'm not sure how much value that is. I'll leave that to the greats like Bjorn and etc. who can do amazing jobs on before and afters and redesigns. They're, you know, they're specialists at that, so I'll leave them to do that. But I like to focus on little tidbits, you know, that you can try and use. And, you know, you hear lots of, about black pines, but it shows you maybe hopefully some bit more detail what bud selection is and needle plucking is. So hope you enjoyed the video. More to come. I'll get stuck in some more trees and hopefully take, you know, more video of them. This is, um, yeah, lovely, lovely black pine. starting to come along nicely. Good movement. I'm enjoying the tree. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe and like my videos for more in the future. Thanks guys, bye.